Good morning. My name is Lucas Durham. And my name is Logan Guerin. We have created a game that we hope will increase the financial literacy scores of teens. The Jumpstart Coalition did a study over a 10-year period of time and noticed that financial literacy is at an all-time low. It dropped 9% from 1998 to 2008. That's why we used the newest open source and free technologies to create a fun and interesting way to teach teens. We use the newest technology, including Photoshop for creating all of our textures, Blender for designing all of our 3D objects, Mono Development for comp compiling our scripts, Java as our main scripting language, and Unity to pull it all together. We also used royalty-free music from Digital Juice and royalty-free textures from cgtextures.com. All of our models were made in Blender. Everything from the car, the buildings, to the main menu system. After we created our models, we then had to texture them. We started with source files from cgtextures.com and then used Photoshop to edit them into the final UV maps. But all of these textures and models would be dead in the water without the use of scripting. Here we have an in-game demo of the game. The driver will drive along, he'll pass through an invisible trigger which will tell a script to uh, display a question. The driver will then consider the question and the answers and choose the corresponding letter on the road. As you can see, he got it right, so it displays a check mark and increases his guess. And let's take a look at how all of this is scripted. In front of you are the packets that I laid out. They contain all of the scripts shown above. The top left hand corner is the title that corresponds to these. Our first script, the gate one trigger script, we store all of the question textures display the questions, and freeze and unfreeze the game. In our second script here, the gate one script, we assign the answer variables and randomize which question is displayed. There are a total of five questions possible per gate. It's completely random. Gate 1A through gate 1D are assigned to the letters. When you pass through it, it will check with the gate one script to see what the answer was. If you got it right, it'll set a, a um, variable to true. The destroy script gets rid of any lingering triggers or barriers left behind, and the correct script displays either a check mark or an X. The gas script is our last and longest script. It checks with the gate 1A through gate 1D scripts to see if you got the answer correct. If you did, it will display the general user interface on the left hand side of the screen and increase it by five points. After we created all of the individual parts of the game, we then used Unity to combine it all into the final product. Now we're going to show you a live demo of our game. Gameplay is simple. You drive along, the questions pop up, and you answer these questions. Now, for each level, you have to answer four out of the five questions right to get a proficient score. Now, here we have the main menu. We have help which displays our keystrokes, our instructions, notes about prizes that you can unlock, and a warning saying that driving behavior should not be mimicked on the roadway. We have new game, which will race all of the unlockables, options, which has volume, quality, and resolution, depending on your computer's performance and monitor. We have car edit, which allows you to customize your car with eight different skins, and we have four different cars, now, normally, only skin one and car one would be unlocked. You unlock these by getting 100% health or all five questions right on a level. Now we're going to show you the first level of the game, which takes place in Chicago. Here we have the story, our same keystrokes, and a warning. We start off with a 3-2-1 go sequence. On the bottom right hand side of the screen, we have a speed and we have a health. If you happen to go over 20 miles an hour and you run into the wall on the side of the road, it will take damage off, five points per hit. We have our question here, he's going to answer it, and he got it right. So it's on the display a check mark and have his gas increased. We have an in-game menu. We have the same options, restart, continue to continue playing, the main, menu, main menu and a quit. You can also quit the game anytime in the menu or in the game by pressing escape. Now we're going to show you the fifth level. And if you're wondering, this game also plays 
just as smoothly on a six-year-old laptop. This is a six-year-old XP laptop, while our demo laptop here is a brand new Windows 7 laptop. Now the way we design this game, you can easily swap out questions and answers in less than 10 seconds, making this game able to become a math, trivia, reading, English, science, any game you can think of in less than a day. But as is, this game is a valuable tool for quizzing teens on their financial knowledge. We'd like to thank you today for your attention and your time. And I hope that your time left in Orlando will be good. Thank you.